If you have any aspirations to work in any sort of financial environment, be it directly related to accounting or a related area of business or industry, an appreciation and understanding of accounting will be important to you. Studying for an A-level in accounting will introduce you to both financial and management accounting, which will prepare you for either further study in this subject or direct, en direct entry into an accountancy office environment. Thanks to the international accounting standards, anything you learn in the UK can be applied across the entire globe. Accounting allows you to travel for fun and work and is great for those who wish to travel. However, if this is not for you, then you will always find large accounting firms who operate out of a local town as well as high-rise city centre blocks. Accounting really does help you expand your horizons. A-level accounting is for students who enjoy working with numbers and learning the rules. We learn how to account for various issues within a business and then have to apply these consistently. Accounting is for problem solvers, logical thinkers and people who enjoy putting some meaning to numbers. The majority, of uh, the majority of managing directors or chief executive officers have a background in financial business or accounting. In Year 12, you will be introduced to the basic concepts and principles of financial accounting and their importance in the management of business. This will include double entry bookkeeping, preparing financial statements with adjustments, costing decisions and budgeting. In Year 13, you will build upon what you've learned in Year 12. You will go on to learn how to prepare the final accounts for the end of a tax year and for various business models. The standards to be applied in accounting, aspects of international accounting, budgeting and cost control. For example, partnership accounts, absorption costing and the impact of ethical considerations. In A-level accounting, you will sit regular assessments which always test your ability to recall knowledge and check that you have revised. You will have two formal exams at the end of Year 13, which are both three hours long. The results from these will determine your A-level grade. There is no coursework, but you will need lots of line paper and many folders. In the future, you will be able to study accounting at degree level or complete apprenticeships where you will have a job at the same time with hopefully a prestigious firm. Either route will get you to the same place, so do your research now so that you have a goal when in sick form. Some major accounting firms in the UK are called PwC, Deloitte, Mazars, Ernst Young and KPMG. Why don't you Google them and see the work they do as well as visit their career sections. Some of them even allow you to express an interest right now. Naturally, Students find that accounting goes well with business studies or BTEC business or enterprise. However, we also have students who study accounting as well as some other diverse courses. During recent years, we have grown in student numbers and the grades that have been achieved. Some students have progressed to university and others have managed to gain places with some of those prestigious firms I mentioned earlier. The entry requirements are grade six in maths, and Grade 5 in English for A-Level Accounting. I firmly believe that any student with the correct mindset can achieve whatever they put their mind to. Do not let entry requirements put you off. Use them as the motivation and goal to work harder, revise more effectively and perform like never before. We look forward to seeing you at the upcoming Open Day and even more so in our Year 12 class in September. Thank you.